What's up, meatheads? Coach Mandler here, Team Swole Patrol. We're on day three of the five-day training week that I am sharing with you, and today is where we're going to focus on more of a metabolic conditioning slash active recovery type training routine that will be short, quick, and high intensity in order for us to, to kind of lean down, speed up recovery, and work on some of the weak points that I've been talking to you about that show up and limit how much we can lift on our core lifts themselves. So uh, I call this training brick shootouts training. It's just a fancy way of saying it's metabolic conditioning that addresses our body's weak points for the core lifts that we do. And um, I typically put this in on Wednesday and also sometimes on a Saturday or a Sunday if I'm trying to lean down more so than, than the normal, all right? So um, just to give you an idea of my split though, before we get into today's routine, I do a Monday through Friday routine. And that's only because I like taking the weekends off to enjoy the time that, uh, that I've got with, with my family members and my friends that work a typical nine to five uh, job throughout the week. So typically the only time I get to spend with them is on the weekend. So I typically don't train at all on the weekends or if I do, I'll throw in one of these brick shit house routines. So for those of you asking or wanting to know a little bit about which split I use or how many days on, how many days off, I go Monday through Friday, cram in, two days worth of upper body core lift and weak point training, and two days worth of lower body core lifts and weak point training in. And right sandwich in between on Wednesdays, on hump day, is when I do these brick shit house routines. So without further ado, here is an example of one of the brick shit house routines that you can do that will help you increase um, weak point strength, work capacity, speed up recovery, and also give you a nice little fat burning effect. So try it out for yourself. I can guarantee you, you're going to like the results that you get. All right, so to give you an idea of how I like to program these brick shithouse routines out so that they don't just assist in kind of building that um, you know, resting metabolic rate that helps me burn a little bit more fat, but also increase weak point strength in my uh, the, in the muscles that are limiting my core lift and build more of that work capacity and even build a little bit of muscle is to program in exercises that will address the weak point muscles that show up in your core lift obviously but do so in a format that utilizes more compound multi-joint movements with different free weights and do so in a circuit format. Real simple. You're really limited to your own creativity. So here you're going to see me do it to where it is a, a day where instead of doing one probably five to eight round um, total body uh, brick shit house routine, I'm going to be doing basically you know two different types of circuits. One for more lower body and one for more upper body. So that was the lower body right there, just with some kettlebells. Nothing crazy intense with weight. Remember, you don't want to overstress your nervous system. So days like this, where we're doing more lightweight, high intensity circuit training to get that metabolic response and to increase work capacity, we want to chill with the heavy weight and the high volume to kind of give our body a break. These don't just function as ways to, to really build work capacity, work on weak point strength and burn fat but also kind of get you just enough of a pump to where it's kind of facilitating more active recovery work as well. All right, so it's kind of a multitasking day. We're burning fat, we're speeding up muscle recovery, and we're increasing weak point strength with high volume work with um, lighter weights on the compound movements that you program in. So this is going to be an actual pretty good example of how I would throw in more of a high intensity weak point training circuit that will help you get that heart rate up so you'll have a positive impact on your resting metabolic rate that will allow you to burn more calories at rest, but also get enough of a pump to kind of increase blood flow uh, so that when, whenever you have a solid diet in play, you'll be able to speed up muscle recovery and do so without stressing your nervous system or your, your general infrastructure too much so that you won't be able to, to crush it on the following days, like on a Thursday or Friday for me, 
for instance, when I'm trying to, to lift heavier with high volume with the, the, uh, the bigger goal of building more muscle or building more um, strength and explosiveness. So just keep in mind whenever programming these in that you want to program in uh, exercises that are going to be multi-joint and exercises that are going to address the weak point muscles that show up in your core lift and do so in a circuit format so you build that work capacity. Hey dude, hopefully you enjoyed that sample brick shithouse routine and kind of open your mind into some different avenues that you could use in your, your training repertoire to burn fat while also working on some weak point strength to bring up your core lifts and also uh, increase just your, your overall work capacity. Now, um, I don't want you to think because I personally use these brick shithouse routines and finishers that I throw on at the tail end of my normal training days that it's the only means for burning fat and trying to sport that more lean muscular athletic look that I use. I do in fact think that there is a lot of value for power athletes to have um, a certain degree of aerobic capacity as well as that anaerobic capacity. So um, I do throw in probably on three or four days out of the week about a 15 to a 20 minute traditional cardio session if you will and it's not going to be anything crazy intense. It's traditionally just going to be something like going on a walk or a bike ride with my wife or doing probably 15 to 20 minutes on my erg at a, a relatively low intensity. Just something to work on building that aerobic capacity as well. All right, And um, I don't use that necessarily for the exclusive reasoning of, of burning fat, but it is something that brings health to you as well as you know gives you a little bit of a, a fat burning effect. So I don't want you to think that just because I'm preaching to, to you about the value of doing this type of metabolic conditioning as a means for burning fat, that it's the only way. Just like I don't think uh, a lot of bodybuilders are so stubborn to think that doing strict dieting and traditional cardio is the only way to burn fat. So just wanted to get that out there. Now, if you do want to learn more about different ways you can burn body fat and sport that more ripped, powerful, and athletic look without having to kind of waste away the, the size and strength gains that you've been busting your ass for, then please do yourself a favor right now and click on this button right here so you can watch my free Get Ripped Insider Seminar that I put together for you that's going to explain different ways you can burn fat without seeing a noticeable drop in your strength or the size that you've been busting your balls to build. So either click right here or just click on the first link that you see down there in the description box and I will take you to that free registration page which outlines everything you got to do to watch it right now for free. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the kick-ass tips and routines that I'll be hooking you up with here in the future. Appreciate your time, guys. Have a good one. Mandler, out.